to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another DIY for you. This is actually an order for a customer and it is going to be a diaper cake. So I'm going to take you through the steps, show you everything that you need to make your very own diaper cake and then we'll see the end result of what I have for you. So I'm going to zoom in and focus off of me and onto the table so you can see everything I'm doing because again the point is to show you a literal step by step so you know what to expect if you decide to make your own cake. So let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you everything that I have. Okay so as you can see right here we have a huge pile of diapers. This is about, excuse me, this is about 160 diapers give or take. Um, this is going to be a fairly large diaper cake. We have a 14 inch. This is actually a cake round that I picked up from Joann's. You can pretty much find it anywhere. This is what we're going to set the cake on. And then, then I'm going to do another element for the cake as well. Um, that's going to involve this. But first, I want to get the actual structure in place. And then I want to work on that other element. And then we have a bottle. Um, just nothing special, just a simple bottle. This is going to anchor our cake in the center to make it sturdy. I'm going to use some dowels as well. You'll see that when I get to that part. I have some little Velcro dots because I want to hold the bottle firmly in place. And once again, keep everything sturdy. And then I also have rubber bands. These are file bands, so they're a lot bigger than your regular rubber band because as you're going to see, you're going to want to secure those layers in place. And then lastly here, if you can see that, this is my actual, and I'll put in a close-up. I wanted to have a game plan in mind. Um, I had my idea in mind, but I wanted to see it physically on paper. So that's what that is. So I want to keep that close by as I go forward. So let's just move this over. As you can see here, these are the rolled up diapers. Um, I knew I would have to do a lot, so I pre-did those, but I'm gonna show you one on camera. So all you're gonna do is take your diaper, and just a note to keep in mind, different diapers have different prints, textures, all of that, obviously. I prefer the plain diaper, and I like my um, decorations, as you're gonna see, to be at the forefront. I did, however, end up getting the Pampers Baby Dry, which have a slight blue green tint to them and then the pamper swallows which are all white this works for me because the cake is an, a mermaid under the sea type theme so that bluish green tint is going to be perfectly fine but that is something you want to keep in mind when you're getting the diapers just to play it safe i would say go with the pampers swaddler or a diaper that is completely white so i'm just going to take the top of the diaper here very simple just roll down you want to roll it nice and tight. I like to anyway because I like it to have that nice perfect shape. And I feel like that works very well when you come down to the end. So now you see you have this cylinder right here. And then you're going to want to just pop a rubber band around it like you see on this one right here. I didn't bring a small one with me um, to show you that. But yes, that is the, the general thing. Actually, I'll be right back. Let me grab a rubber band. Okay, here's that rubber band on there and then you have that shape. So we're going to add that to our pile. Now, as far as the rubber bands go, um, I don't pay too much of color, attention to the color of the rubber bands because um, I camouflage them with all my other stuff. If you don't want to have that be a concern, you can get clear rubber bands. Obviously, you know, the tan are easier to find. And then these colors were at Michael's. So it depends right, guys, on. So I'm back. We have to set in place the center anchor for the diaper cake. This is a bottle, nine ounce bottle, nothing special. Some people put a paper towel roll in the middle. I've seen some people roll up a blanket. You pretty much do anything. This is where you can get creative depending on who it's for. Um, as I said, this is for a client. So I had that in mind as far as my budget and what I bought to put in there. However, depending on who you're making it for, 
you know, um, what the the situation is in terms of um, cost and that, then you can put different things in there. I personally like to put baby items in there because I just think that that is really cool. A really cool way to incorporate that into the cake as well without it being directly on top. And so I just took those little Velcro dot strips. You can see those right there. I just took those and um, placed it here just so I know to hold it in place. It's perfectly centered because that dot that was preset in here is centered. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling. I want to zoom you guys in a little closer because I want you to see the details of what I am doing. So let's come in a little closer. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so the majority of my diapers are a size one and then I have a small amount of newborn. So we're gonna start with the size one diaper. So you're gonna take them and you're just gonna start to stack and build around like you see here. So let me get my larger rubber bands ready because then what you're going to do with this is secure your base. And you're going to see what I mean. So let's keep this by. Then we're going to start stacking. I like to keep this little end of the diaper tucked in towards the middle. I just like the way that looks better. So let's go ahead and stack these around. to have that tight roll that I showed you as well because I feel that it helps the diapers sit smoothly and um, it keeps them flat in place which is important when you get to the stacking point so now I'm gonna take this rubber band and I'm gonna go around the outside here um, as you can see, they're going to fall, which is fine. Just want to set them back up. And then I'm going to start tucking them, tucking them right in there. And that's another good thing that we velcro the bottle in place because it's holding very sturdy. So, I don't like to have a lot of rubber bands around the outside if I don't have to. Because I feel like it pinches the shape just enough to hold everything nice and sturdy in place. So as you can see there, I'm just taking these, spinning them around, making sure that little end of the diaper is tucked in so that you get that smooth outer surface. Do a little adjusting, make sure it's nice and straight. And there you have it. Now. I'm going to go ahead and finish completing this bottom layer. I'll come back to show you that finished product and then we'll go ahead and go on to the ascending layers. Now I am thinking that I'm going to do three to four layers depending. I'll see how I like it once it's all set in place. So I'm going to go finish this layer and I'll be back. All right, everyone. So as you can see here, I'll move you a little closer. The first, um, the first layer is assembled. This is about 70 diapers, give or take. Um, and you can see how the bottle anchored everything is nice and snug. You can also see how that rubber band I was talking about keeps everything in place. Now I'm going to zoom you in because I wanted this to be detailed. Look at the tops of those diapers. Remember when I said about wrapping them tightly in place? Look at that. That beautiful rosette shape that that carries and this is awesome because this is going to tie in with the decorations that I put on also at the end also all um, everyone if you hear any noise or anything in the background 
as I say in every one of my videos, I do have two small kids and they're always around. So don't mind that. They're just playing, having a good time. So anyway, back to this, that beautiful little rosette that we see. So as you can see, um, that's just a really nice detail. I also want to point out most diapers have like a little, you can see that, move back a little bit. They have that little design part right here. Now look at this end versus this end. So if I was to turn them down on this side, you would be able to see that little detail in there of the little um, print that goes across the part, the top part of the diaper that goes on the baby's tummy. I don't really like that. So flipping it over, I get this look. It's nice and uniform. Once again, I have that nice tight rosette look. And then the blue, which I'm happy is there now, which was a happy accident, is going to play in really nicely to my theme. Now, once again, if this is a color or if this is something that you don't want, go for the Pamper Swaddler, which is all white, and you will have that perfectly white color there. So, again, I'm going to continue compiling the rest of the layers, and then I will come back on to show you how I assemble and secure those layers, and then we will jump into decorations. See you back in a second. All right, everyone. So quickly, I want you to see here how the tall bottles at the bottom, this is why you want to put the tall bottle at the bottom. You see how we still have more clearance here? That's going to secure the second layer. So as opposed to separately making the layer here and then placing it atop here, I'm going to stack it here and then build out around directly on top. So I just want you to know that so when I come back, you're going to actually see the two middle tiers and then the other subsequent tiers will be done and then I'll be stacking those. So I just wanted to show you that you can stack right on here. Another reason why you want to have a firm, tight, secure base so that you can just build upward. Okay, everyone, I just wanted to check back in real quick. As you can see, I have the first three layers assembled. As I showed you, I just built this one. That's my baby girl. Hold on. As I told you in the previous clip, I just built this one directly on top of here, and that larger bottle stabilized this center. I added another small bottle to secure this layer here. Now, when you first saw the big stack of diapers right here, I originally told you that some were swaddlers and some were um, baby dry. As you can see, the blue, which I like of the baby dry, I felt looked too different from the stark white of the swaddler. So I'm going to put those back and I'm going to get um, just another small pack of the swaddler so I can continue it blue all the way up. I'm going to finish filling out this layer and then I'm going to add a small fourth layer at the top which is going to hold the topper. So I will see you back when I have that assembled and then we'll insert the dowels to, to secure everything and then we'll get to decorating. Alright, as you all can see I have my um, three tiers. I'm going to put one more smaller tier. That is baby girl. I'm going to put one more smaller tier up here to hold the topper. And I just want to hop back on real quick to show you this stand right here. The cake is going to sit atop here. And then um, the cake will be on here. So this will be the stand. And then the tool is going to spill over like that. It's actually going to be a tutu, which is a bonus. Okay, mama. Which is a bonus because it can be taken off and then they can use it for their daughter if they want. So I thought that was cute. Anyhow, I measured from the top point of this cake stand where the tutu was going to fall down to the table, if that makes sense. So you want to take your tape measure. Hold on, mama. I'm almost done. Let me tell them. You want to take your tape measure and you want to measure from the point of the cake stand where you want it to go down to the point of where you want it to fall when it's on the table okay so I got that measurement and as you can see I already cut my tool to match that measurement I have the piece of elastic right here and I'm doing a no sew no glue method essentially you just take the piece of tool you fold it in half and then you loop it over the top of the elastic you pull it through tight you have what looks like this right here. See that? And then you are all set to go. Connor, yes, the kids are trying to help. And then you have that and you're all set to go. Hey guys, I am... 
Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've started the tutu for the cake topper. Daddy. I just wanted to come on and show Daddy. you um, Daddy. how I attach one of them. Daddy. This is just elastic Daddy. band, like this. Daddy. And, Daddy. Okay, Mama, one second. You take one piece of your pre-measured tool and once again you measure from um, the place on on the cake board where you want the tools the tutu to sit excuse me and then down to where you want it to hit on the table then you want to multiply that by two because the way you do this is you take that piece that measurement that you multiply by two you're gonna fold it in half like this Okay, so you have this folded in half. Then you're gonna take take your um your looped elastic here, and I've just pinned it on the end because I want her to be able to adjust it for the size of the baby when she takes it off. So I'm not gonna stitch it closed or anything. I'm just gonna pin it so she can adjust it. So you have this. You take a loop right here. You have that loop. You put your finger through the loop. You're just gonna put it around. Hold that open like that. I hope you guys can see that. Holding that open like that with your two fingers. Bring this up like this. You want to make sure that you pretty much have the same length, unless you want layered, and then it can be different. Then you take those, and you just pull it through that loop right there, and pull it tight. Okay? You want to slide to adjust it if you need to. Just pull it tight like that. And you have your tool connected so I'm gonna go around and continue to fill this in because as you can see there is some gapping I just wanted to measure it and make sure that it was right and I want to come back on and show you all me attaching one and so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and I'll be back note to self by the way never buy glitter tool the glitter is everywhere all right I'll be back guys all right everyone I am back. As you can see, the kiddos have been here and my workstation has gotten a little messy, but that's okay. Move that out of the way. Um, I did need a couple more diapers because as I explained earlier, I didn't like how the two different um, brands mixed. Anyhow, so as you can see here, I have stacked these two tiers. I have the second bottle here as well. And if you look closely, these pieces right here are wooden dowels. And the intention is for that to keep the cake even more sturdy so the diapers don't shift around too much. And I have doubled, doubled up the rubber band around. All right, everyone. As I'm sitting here editing the video, I realized that the angle of the camera was shifted. I think one of the kids bumped the tripod, so it's making the cake look off center, but I assure you it is straight. It's just the angle of the camera. All right, let's get back to the tutorial. Each tier so that it stays sturdy as well. So what we're gonna do now is add this third tier here. I have some more diapers down here that I'm going to add in to bulk it out. I have to stand up for this one because it has gotten pretty tall. So, just filling this part in. And I'll decide if I want to do one more small tier to accommodate the topper, or if I want to leave it with this one. I don't know, let me see. Okay, so you can see that is taking nice shape and form there. This is the time where you wanna do all your adjusting, make sure you have your symmetry, and that everything, which it is, everything is looking nice and straight because once you put your ribbon in place, you don't want to have to move um, move anything around if you don't have to, because then that can really become a hassle. So I think I need one more right here, and that will be it for this tier. 
then I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to look at it and decide if I'm going to do one more small tear up here for the topper, which is going to be really cute. I'll show you that when we get to that point. So for right now, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish that out, make that decision, and then I will come back to show you my placement of the triple layer of ribbon on each layer. And then after that, we have to do the rosettes that I'm going to make using baby washcloths and ribbon. And then finally, we have the baby's initial that I'm going to Mod Podge with some sequined kind of like glitter paper. And we're going to place that on as well. So we have a couple more steps to go before we put it all together. So stick around so you can see the final product. Hi everyone, welcome back. So as you can see, all four of my tiers are stacked. They're nice and tight as I like them. And so now I just have to res uh, measure, excuse me, around so that we can add the ribbon. Now I've decided that the, the portion facing me on this side is the front. So I'm going to do my gluing of the ribbon back here. And to secure it in the front, I have some double-sided tape just to hold it in place. So the base I already measured is 41 inches. So I have the first and thickest ribbon that I'm going to be using, which is this purple satin ribbon right here. And just a touch, if you hear my kids in the background, it's bedtime, so they're a little fussy. But as you can see, this is satin ribbon and just a little, a little trick for satin ribbon because it's known to fray where you cut it. Just take a lighter and lightly heat up the end like that and that solves that problem for you right there. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that, wrap it around here, do the same for the remaining three tiers, and then I am going to just, you know, wrap this around here like so in the position where I need it. I'm going to use my double-sided tape to keep it in place and then at the back, as I said, I want to use a little bit of the hot glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back to show you the end result. Once again, I have the double-sided tape to guide me around. I don't want too much hot glue on here because I don't want to affect the diapers because after all, they are diapers, and I want all of them to be able to be used. So, the double-sided tape is to guide me around, and then when I get on the back end, I will put a dab of hot glue where it is absolutely necessary. I'm trying a different angle with this DIY. I want to focus on the actual project. There goes baby girl. I want to focus on the actual project. So I'm not showing myself. I hope that's okay. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer. But I wanted to zoom in on the project. Turn this around here so you can see what we have going. Just gonna take our time and come around because this is a part of the decoration after all. Okay, mama, and we want it to be very neat. So I'm just going to keep coming around here, keeping it nice and taut, but you want to make sure it's straight as well. Okay. So while I'm going to back and check on the kids to help get them settled down, I'm going to finish this so when I come back, you're going to see all of the tiers wrapped in their three respective colors. And then we will go from there with finalizing the decoration. Okay, everyone, I'm back. As you can see, uh, the, all the tiers are stacked. They're lined in their triple layer of ribbon. And I have to make the rosettes and then put the topper on. It has gotten pretty late and so I think that I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna get up first thing in the morning and make the rosettes to apply to the cake and I also have to do the Mod Podge for the letter that's gonna go on here as well so I just want you all to get a look at that also um, a little trick of what I like to do 
anytime I'm making anything, whether it's a, a real cake as well, I like to find what I want to be the front, basically the part that I think looks the most perfect, and I put a little mark on it. So here, I have a little mark down here on the front, so I'll know that that's the front once I put this on top of the stand with the tutu underneath. And then there's also a little mark back here where I know it's the back. And also, I can look at how I tucked and hid my ribbon in the back, so that'll let me know where my back is as well. So we'll be back what will be tomorrow for me, but right back for you to show you the rosettes and the letter. Then we will be applying the topper and we'll be all done. See you back here in a bit. As you see here, I have the R that's going to go in the center front of the cake. And I have the Mod Podge here. And then this is the paper it's like a glittery cardstock that I'm going to be mod podging onto the letter. So on the wrong side, I'm going to place the letter here. I'm going to trace it. I have an X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to apply it with the Mod Podge. And I will be back in a second to show you the results. All right, so as you can see, I have the R prepared right here. I use the X-Acto knife and I cut it out of the paper. Pretty smooth sailing. Only nick myself one little time, so that exacto knife is very sharp. But I'm have a, I have a brush. I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm gonna do. I have the brush. Here's the letter. I'm gonna open this up, rub it all over the letter, put the paper in place, and press it down to make sure it holds. Okay, everyone. I'm down to the home stretch. I wanted to come and show you. One Daddy. flower rose. Daddy. Hold on, Mama. Show you one of the flower roses. So you Daddy. have a square Daddy. baby's washcloth, and I'm using Daddy. spoons because they're easy to insert into the cake where you want them to go. You can use wooden dowels. That's my baby girl in the background. You can use wooden dowels um, or pipe cleaners. Pretty much whatever you have on hand but as you'll see is the theme with this cake I like to put items on the cake that are for baby and that can be used for baby so I like the idea of the spoons and hence the washcloth as well so you take the washcloth turn it diagonally you fold it in half this is a pretty easy um a pretty easy way to do it so we're going to go ahead and place that spoon, as you see there, right there on that corner. And then, we're going to tuck it around here. The key is you want to hold it tight because this is really all on the fold. And then you just want to come, keep coming across like this. Keep holding it tight, guiding it, guiding it. You're going to slant down a little bit. Now when you get to this last little triangle piece right here, you want to take that and you want to fold it back like this. So now it's going to look like that. Kind of like if you're rolling up your silverware for the dinner table. Then you want to come down to the bottom while you're still holding this top portion here tight. And you want to pull this up. Just keep on sliding it up, pulling it up. Pull it up nice and tight. This is where you're going to see if you held it tightly enough when you start it. Because this is the part that's going to hold everything together. So once you have this pulled up, you can let go of the top part. And then I just like to fold down the little angles here. And pull open your little blossom. And there you go. You can see in there the little rosette. Give you a side view. Okay. Keep turning, keep turning around. And there goes your little washcloth rolls. Now these, I'm going to, you'll see where I put the mat on the cake. Everything is now done for the diaper cake. So I'm going to cut away very quickly, assemble it all together, and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, as you can see, we have the cake here. You can see where I have placed... The other roses that I made atop here, you 
can also see these front three I trimmed with ribbon. I just took double sided tape and when you make that half triangle piece with the washcloth, I put the strip of the double sided tape across there and then I rolled it um, as usual. Again, my notion behind the double sided tape as opposed to like any type of pins or glue is that I want to keep everything usable and ready for baby. So here is your rolls that we just made on the spoon. And I like this side of it with the fold down in the blossom. So we are going to we are going to take this and stick it right down in here. About here is where I think this one needs to go. Just keep going so you get that perfect little fit. Keep and there you have it. You can see all of the details. Excuse my working mess in the back. But as you can see right there, we have the washcloth roses at the top. And then if you come in closer, you can see that there is a seashell Daddy. crown on top as Daddy. well as the theme Daddy. is mermaid slash under the sea. And then coming down, we have the triple ribbon layer on each tier. We have the letter R that I did the Mod Podge um, technique on using the glitter paper. Um, you saw that earlier. So that came out really well. And then also, just to show you that up close. And then we're going to zoom back out. And you can take a look at the tulle skirt. Now this is just really cute. This is kind of... I think my favorite part of the actual cake itself is so pretty. It just adds a nice touch and I think it turned out really well. All right, everyone, so that is it for my diaper cake. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if there is any specific um, step that you want me to do either a separate video on or go a little more in depth on I wanted to do like broad strokes for this one and focus on layering and getting the cake sturdy and then that way you can add whatever decorations you would like please like um this video as well if you like how it turned out share it so other people can see you know how we put it together as well and like I said comment and let me know what you think have you made a diaper cake before how did yours turn out Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.